Delta Wings too. Woo! So, all I gotta say is... Well... <laughs> I haven't done anything much in it. Except for what we did in the last episode, so... There's that. Um... Also... The next community challenge has to do with West African Lions. We are getting this ourselves a pair. Because, you know what it looks like? It looks like desert, 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 tropical. <laughs> These are not tundra animals. Ooh, those mountains are gorgeous, though. But anyways, I think, you know, the first animal in the zoo will, of course, be a tundra animal. I just really quickly want to buy some left, some left, some West African lions. I can't speak, and I don't know why. Ooh, there's an albino. I don't think we want an albino at the moment. What the? What is up with this? Huh? Ooh, but he has such good fertility. You're not good. You're okay. You're three years. Let's just adopt you. No, you're worth 10,000. What am I doing? I need to start checking the price. Because if I don't... <sighs> Alright, let's look for females. There's a female. She's 5.8 years, so she's a little bit older. We're gonna adopt her, though. Come on, I wanna adopt. There we go. And then, let us adopt. Come on! Okay, you know what? Let's just do this. So there are two left. I think this one right here, this female, will be good. Okay, so we're gonna adopt two females, one male. Go from there. <laughs> Ooh, right, okay. So Frost and Snow, or Frost and Ice will go into, so Frost will stay in Dreamland Zoo. Ice, since he's a little bit better in fertility and all that, will stay in the cold zoo. I have a Himalayan brown bear and a grizzly bear. Some dull sheep. Ignore the cheetah. He's just temporary. <laughs> but yeah. Let's make a doll sheep exhibit. Yikes, once I have more money. Yes, yes, donate. I need your money. Research is complete, which is a good thing. So I am getting money from these people. Oh geez, that's a lot of money. Already. Not as much as I want, but I think our, yeah, our definitely our first habitat will be the doll sheep. Let me let me look up a little bit about the doll sheep. Doll sheep. Let's see. So they need a grade two fence that is greater than 3.3 feet. I guess because they can jump. Um, they're neutral with humans. So I think a f glass should work. It should be fine. I'm gonna do zoo. Come here. Yeah. 
let's change you to perhaps six and six. There we go. Our puff adder had offspring. Let's see what else has offspring. Do I have any animals in my exhibit trading? Not yet. Cool. sheep so I think they're mountain sheep let's see um, first let us raise this barrier a bit okay maybe by there we go four meters tall That'll be good. It's not the biggest habitat yet, but it will get bigger, I promise. Eventually. <laughs> okay. I think maybe since... Okay, let's make like kind of like a mountain range thing. that they can climb onto. Wait, I want to kind of keep that level down. Because that's going to be kind of... There's going to be an overhang here. Uh, if only I could see what I was doing! I kind of want to serve, I kind of want for this to serve as a hard shelter. So let me kind of make it like so. Boop. Hopefully they do okay with getting around this place, being able to climb it. I think this might be good. moment of truth. We will be putting in, let's start with the younger one. Put him in here. Hello? Dude. 
Really? Who is getting him? Is he already in here somewhere? What? What? Where's the guy who's carrying him? I guess we just wait. Is there a box somewhere? Oh my gosh, the guy who's- Okay, are they stuck? Here, let's Whoa. move you. Let's move you. Let's move you. Let's move you. What is this? Come here. Go to the habitat. There you go. Let's see how big this sheep is. Oh, look at that. He's a big boy. Okay, what do you need? Your terrain is actually pretty good. Which is amazing. Your land space is good. So you want taiga and tundra North American plants. So let's see. Continent North America. Taiga, tundra, there we go. So I guess maybe a few of these? I kind of want the large ones. Maybe just kind of scattered throughout here. And then a bush. I'm just scattering bushes everywhere. Caribou moss. Let's put a big patch of caribou moss over here. Then maybe a black spruce tree here and a black spruce tree here. And then maybe Hold on. Okay, I think that's pretty. I like it. This corner's kind of sparse. Oh, that's a nice tree. Okay, good. It does not send us over the top. That's good. Okay, what else do you need? Species. Doll sheep. Okay, so let's give you guys large food troughs. And then a water pipe. I already forget how to rota rotate things. Ah! Oh wait, hold on. There we go. Pfft, I'm a dork. I was like, this isn't right. <laughs> Let's put some extra large bedding in here. Just a little bit. Oh, we don't want that hole in the roof. I'll fix those holes. Give me a minute. Terrain. Let's fix these holes here. Any other holes that I don't see? Nope, looks good. Cool. Did I just bring up terrain? So they don't have any enrichment yet. However, there will be three of them at least. So hopefully that'll make them happy. Zoo, vet research, somebody research, Craig, research this guy. 
are these guys. You research puff adders. Mechanics are still in the process of researching things. Okay. Oh, what am I doing? I need donation bins. Okay. Facilities. Yes. Donation bin, donation bin, donation bin, donation bin, donation bin, donation bins everywhere. Give me your money. <laughs> oh, look at him. He's happy. I love how they swarm to look at the new animals. Okay, why is this a problem right here? Okay. Let's move you. Let's move Craig. Let's move you. And then let's move you. You know what I'm gonna do? Path. Delete path. Okay, that whole thing is just ruined. Okay. Let me really quickly fix this. See, what kind of staff path are you? I think you're that one. I'm just trying to figure out what I did wrong. Let's see how this goes. way to prevent it from automatically snapping on the things. spin around right over here hopefully now this will work no I don't want you to immediately click on to things no Gosh, you just can't win! I 
just doesn't want you to win. It's like, ha ha. You want what now? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's just a little bit frustrating. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's the most winding path possible. But hey, hopefully this fixes the problem. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. They all look very suspicious. What kind? Okay. Security. One. Two. We will have two security guards. Okay, we gotta name them. We have to really name them. Oh my gosh. Are they... So, 8.5? 8.3. Okay. Um... I'm gonna name her Agatha. And I'm gonna name her... Brit... Brittany. And then, we need to name this guy. His name will be Herbert. <laughs> Don't ask me why, I just... I like the name. do with each of these animals is once the first generation basically dies then we will add in the highest I guess of the next generation of the second generation and then kind of start them off however we will not be inbreeding any of our animals of course because that is not good to do where are they? Oh, they're in there. Okay. And then these guys are just hiding. They're just chilling. But yeah. Oh, yay. They can climb up there. That's good. Cool. They'll actually graze. What? So I wonder if these guys will basically feed themselves if there's grass. Because if they do, that would make so much sense. 
Come on. Uh, mechanic, <laughs> come fix this, please. But yeah, in this episode, we've gotten a lot done. We've introduced three of our doll sheep into this new zoo. So, I have decided that, yes, this is... So basically, this is going to be my zoo that I play every other week. So I'm going to alternate between two zoos. Because the other zoo I'm going to play is going to be the one where we do the community challenges in. So, that is going to be specifically for those community challenges. I will keep whatever animals we have for the community challenges in the zoo. Unless if we're like, oh yeah, let's trade them over here. <laughs> if, say, they're an animal that would be fine living in a tundra. Or a taiga. Or just generally in cold. Anubis, hello. But yeah, I think that'll be it for this episode. I hope you all have had a wonderful day. Brittany, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, she's so pretty. I love her fur. I love her horns. I love her big, beautiful eyes. She's a very pretty sheep. All three of them are very pretty sheep. He has some massive curly horns. But yeah, I will see you all next time. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> He's just gone. He's like, I teleport over here now. Okay, goodbye everyone. I hope you all have a wonderful day filled with joy and happiness. Wow, I've only been recording for 27 minutes. <gasps> Anyways, all jokes aside, goodbye. Uh -huh.